What's up? This is a quick video. I want to showcase the next big upgrade that I have planned for the wagon. I just want to start by saying that unless you plan on tracking your car, this isn't exactly um, necessary, but it's just going to be a good upgrade and I'm building it more than what I need so that I can do um, basically whatever I want with the wagon in the future. So is this 100% needed? No, but it's going to be a lot of fun. So check it out. These are brake calipers from a Porsche 986. Um, you're going to need to get the, the front uh, two calipers, which are going to be these two, and uh, come in here, and the, they're nearly almost um, indistinguishable, other than you can see that the, the piston size is going to be much different. Are you able to get in here to see the piston size? If you come over here to the side. So you can see the piston size here. So these are fronts, and then these are rear, Porsche 986. Everything's pretty much exactly the same except the piston size, and you're gonna notice that because of the piston size, it's gonna have these humps here in the casting. Um, by the way, these are aluminum, so they're really lightweight. So uh, you can see the difference here. Um, and also the uh, where the um, serial number is gonna be. It's gonna be on the face here, on the, the fronts, and then on the rears, the serial number is gonna be on the bottom. And the, the first numbers of the uh, serial number on the rears are gonna be 996, and it's gonna be the same for this one, 996. And then on the fronts, the first three of the serial numbers will be 986, and the same here, 986. So that's that's gonna be their big way you can tell these, these are parts of. You don't get sold rear calipers when you need the front calipers. So you're gonna need the Home Developments uh, uh, bracket that's gonna allow you to put these on your um, EF, EG, EK. Um, I'm putting these on an EE wagon, a 1989 wagon. So I haven't heard of anyone doing this yet, so I don't know if it's gonna fit. It's not gonna fit with the wheels. That's why I went out and got these Anki J-Speeds. These are uh, my favorite looking wheel. Um, I got these used. Some of them are pretty rough. This one's pretty decent. They just need to be cleaned up and polished, and I think they're gonna come out pretty good. But what we don't know yet is, are they gonna clear? These aren't confirmed to clear. The Kose K1s are confirmed to, to clear. These are 15 by eight plus 25 offset. These are special edition Mini Cooper um, rotors and they're 11 and a half inches. These things are huge. So not only do these have to fit, uh, well, of course they'll go the other way. Not only will these have to fit in here, but they'll have to fit with the, uh, with the caliper on. So I'm going to, I'm gonna figure this out and I'm gonna be posting uh, more information as I, as I get it. Um, more things that you'll need. Let me just grab these. This real quick. So, you'll need a 92 Acura Integra um, uh, parking brake cables. So I got the two of those. And all this stuff was uh, bought off Rock Auto, Auto, by the way. Then you'll need, um, that's for the rear. Let's stick to the front. 2006 Mini Cooper, uh, 1.6 liter. Um, rotors, that's what these are. And uh, you can come over here and get the, uh, the part number off these. So these are gonna be for the fronts. Part number's over here on the side. So same front and rear, you'll need two of these. Um, uh, these are really good ones because I, I believe these are hard, uh, these are high carbon, um, which are the performance ones, which what you want, the ones that you want. Um, also, they have painted um, the inside and the face, so you know these heat up really easily and they rust really easily. So those are going to be for the fronts, for the fronts, and then park brake cables are going to be for my rear disc conversion, which is also what I'm working on at the same time. So you come over here; these are the same high carbon um, centric uh, rotors. So they have the painted face, not going to rust as easily, and the painted sides, which is pretty cool. You can get the uh, part number, which is right here. So for the wagon, what the, the things that I'm still waiting on um, are going to be the uh, stainless steel braided lines for the front and rear, um, and I also need the bracket to um, to mount the the new uh, caliper I have here. So these are Remans, but they're Nissan, so they're Honda factory ones, uh, which is what you want. I have two of them, this one and this one, and then you want to mount the slightly larger 2002 um, Civic rotors. So the only thing you need to do that is you get the EG calipers, 
and then you order two of these and these are just the brackets so all you do is you swap that see how they're slightly larger so you swap the bracket and then you order the pads for um for the uh the caliper brackets and you want to make sure that you get the um, left and right one so i have the part number here and you get those part numbers bought all this off rock auto they got tons of options um just go ahead pick whatever you like um what else oh yeah so here's what came on the uh sorry i jumped around a little bit but you get the idea um, these are the sensors that came originally on the pads. These are the OEM pads. Um, you just have to yank these out, pop them out, super easy. And this is the hardware that comes with it, front and rear. Um, and it's exactly the same. Um, pretty sure you won't be needing to reuse these as you'll get uh, different hardware um, once I get those brackets, which I will um, post about once I get them. And is there anything else I'm thinking of here? Oh, pretty sure that's it. So you'll need wheels that'll fit. Um, uh, the the calipers. You'll need some big um, rotors. You'll need some, some good pads. I went with uh, ceramic. I've never actually ran ceramic pads, but I'm going to go ahead and give it a go. Um, these are the the pads for the um, calipers. Let's see the part number on it. And uh, so for the rear, you'll need the bracket for the uh, for the swap. The two companies that make it are currently completely out of stock. So I don't know what I'm going to do with that. I'm just kind of um, gonna gonna hold off and see. Um, but I, I will be able to finish the front um, swap as soon as I get the that bracket for from Home Development. They're Australian based, so it's taking a while to come over because of uh, COVID-19. Um, and other than that, this this is pretty much everything that you're going to need for a uh, for a big brake upgrade. Um, like I said originally, it's it's not exactly 100% needed, but it's going to be super cool. It's going to look really unique on my wagon. And uh, yeah, I'm stoked to get it on. I'm stoked to see if these wheels fit. And I will let you guys know. All right, thanks for watching.